using a so-called link shortener not only helps you shorten your links but it also helps you track who actually clicks on your links and this right here is Snipply who has taken link shortening to a whole new level with remarketing, conversion pixels and much more and we'll go over their four core features so let's dive in. Now here we are in the platform Snipply and I'll take you through the four core features which is setting up a brand, setting up a CTA, A-B testing links and then we'll take a look at conversions and remarketing in the end. But let's start out with brand profiles. You can use a brand profile to set your domain, your name and a logo. So for instance here I have created my own brand but let's create a new brand here so you can see how it is to set up. We have to enter a name and then the URL that we basically want to send people to later on in the CTA which you will see just in a moment. I will always recommend you setting up a logo which I will also do here. With that said we have now set up our brand super fast and very easy to do. So now we are ready to go and create our first call to action and I can't wait to show you. Right here we have different options when we create a call to action. First off I will choose the brand we just set up and now I can choose whether it should be a button, a text link, even a formula that people can fill out and I will show you why this is extremely interesting. For now let's create a button and a message here could be visit my website for more tips and tricks on this subject for instance. So right now I have entered the message, the button text and the button URL and you can see in the bottom how it looks like and this works more or less like a small pop-up that you can add to the website and I will show you some very interesting features using this. I would like to have some more custom options but you can see in the next step here we can actually customize it where we can set the theme, we can set colors and we can even set the position as well. So here you can see that I've chosen full width so it just shows in the bottom. I would still like to be able to tweak it a bit to maybe make the logo a little bit smaller so it has some white space around it. Maybe change the button to look a little bit different not to have so rounded corners and so forth. But this is something that we can work with. So now I have spent less than a minute setting up my CTA. I will now finish it. So this CTA is now pointing to my website and you might be thinking why does that make sense? Of course you can be on a sub page linking to your home page or to a converting page but let me show you something very interesting just in a moment. The third core module is links. So we have our CTA now and now I will create a Snipply and creating a Snipply doesn't necessarily have to be your own website. So hold on here you can create CTAs on other people's websites and then send it out to whoever you want to send it out to. So people will actually see the website that you're using but with your CTA. So let me take for instance my own website here which is not planter.io but philipsteeman.com and then I will enter my CTA for planter.io. So here you can now see that I'm on my website but the CTA is from a different website. And I can now snip this specific website and now I will have a URL in just a moment where I will be able to go in, see my website but with a different CTA. So let's try and visit this link. So I'm now on my own website but with the CTA in the bottom here. And there are some issues because it's not loading the images right now. I'm using lazy load for my images so that's maybe why it's not loading and that would be something they had to fix. But here I'm on my website I can browse around and I can click on the links and I can use the website as it was just my website. But if we go up in the URL here then you can see that the website is actually Snipply. I'm not on my own website so through Snipply they load in the website you want to add a CTA to and then they show it like you're on that website. And that's why if we could tweak the design more here to look like it's part of the website that would make it a lot easier. This feature really blew me away. I think it's such an interesting take on building CTAs and we can even take it a step further. So we are now back in the Snipply platform and here I can create AB variations. 
But before we do that, I just want to mention that if you want to follow behind the scenes of how I create these videos and just my daily life, then go to Instagram and follow me there because I will share everything that I do in a single day. But now let's try and create an AB variation for this specific CTA. So here instead of a button, then let's try and create a text link. We will also tweak a little bit the message here. So here I have tweaked the message. I've written a different link text, but the URL is the same. Again, we can tweak it a little bit. For now, I will actually try the candy one here. So we will still have the logo. It looks a little bit more smooth. We'll keep the rest as is, and then we'll create the CTA. So now we have with the same URL, a way to actually A-B test this. And the way we define which version is working best is by setting up conversions. So let's go ahead and set up some conversions now. So here we are back in the platform and up here you can see we have conversion pixels. This is very simple to set up. It is basically just an image you add to your website. So here we will say went to website, just as an example, will generate the conversion pixel. And as you can see over here, we have a very simple HTML tag, which is just an image. But what is so important here is that you only add this image to the page where you feel that now it has converted. So for instance, if you're adding CTAs to somewhere where they need to sign up, then you cannot add this image tag until they have actually signed up. If you just add it to your website, then the measurement of the conversions will just be wrong. So just do remember that. We can also set up some advanced conversion settings if you don't want to give this specific conversion to Snipply if it has been more than, let's say, five days, for instance. So now it is actually tracking conversions when I add this image to my specific website. And what we can then do with the conversions is that we can set up remarketing. So if I go back to the brand here, then you probably saw before we have retargeting pixel here. And what's so interesting is that it's very simple. So if you're running Google ads, Facebook ads, Twitter ads, or whatever ads you're running, and there is a possibility that you can run retargeting ads, then you basically just add your script here. So all of the data that Snipply has will be feeded into Google ads or Facebook ads, or whatever it is that you're using. It's so simple to set up. You just copy paste and then you're up and running and then you can run ads to all those people who didn't sign up. So all those people who actually clicked on your CTA but didn't sign up. So very targeted ads that you know they are interested but for some reason they just didn't sign up or they didn't go to your website and read longer than a minute just as an example. And that is how easy it is to set up. So now we're through the four core modules and Snipply is an interesting tool because it's not only a link shortener. As you can see, we can set up conversion pixels. We can retarget everyone who clicks and maybe doesn't even sign up. But is Snipply really worth it? And that is what's now bringing me to my conclusion. Snipply is a step ahead of the competition with their conversion pixels, remarketing, and the way you just saw of creating links. Of course, you can achieve the same using an alternative like Bitly, but it just requires a lot more manual setup. Snipply gives you an out of the box working marketing tool where this combined with the conversion pixel makes sure that you only target the right people and the right people are the people who clicked maybe on your link but didn't sign up or didn't do an action you wanted them to be. And using Snipply you can get started for free but if you're a small company then I wouldn't necessarily just jump ahead and start using Snipply. However, if you're a bigger company or you have a dedicated marketing resource, then I see great value in using Snipply. And based on my own experience using Snipply, I want to give them four and a half stars. I think the concept is brilliant and it's so easy to set up. That's my review. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.